hi everyone and welcome back to another video and in today's video i'll be making the mccall's m8114 so this is a commercial pattern and it comes in a paper and pdf form so if you go to the website you can choose whatever form you want to buy it in i bought it in the pdf form because the shipping of the paper pattern to me was like 10 times the price and the paper and pdf patterns are of the same prices so i decided to buy the p pdf form and then print everything out myself and then stick them together so this is how the pattern looks it's a very big paper which i can show you everything on the screen but i'm just showing you a little bit part of this pattern so this pattern comes in three variants so they have the style a style b and style c and the sewing rate is easy which means everyone can sew it so before I get into today's video, I want to give a very big shout out to Ana Luisa. I received a few pieces of jewelry from their brand and Ana Luisa is a New York based jewelry brand and they craft high quality jewelry pieces at affordable prices. So I also love how they come in these beautiful little pouches and this is one of the jewelries I received. This is a very dainty bracelet with a butterfly design and I love how cute it looks on my wrist their designs are also unique and makes me feel empowered elegant and at my finest so this is another jewelry piece i received which is a necklace and it comes in this woman body form this is so pretty and i also love how their jewelry is delicate and timeless they also have everything from everyday wear to statement pieces so Another great thing I love about this brand is that it is crafted with a planet in mind and is carbon neutral and climate certified. Like I said earlier that their designs are really affordable and starting at a price of $39. So you can go to your browser and then type in Alan Luisa and then on their site you can find everything from earrings, necklaces, rings, bracelets. You can also find pieces that matches your style and they offer free and fast U.S. shipping and returns and affordable worldwide shipping. So I would put the link in my description box and also check to use my code at started 20 and save 20% of your order. So let's get back into today's tutorial. So like you can see, I already traced out all the pattern pieces I'll be using for this top. So I'll be sewing the variant B and for this piece, I'll be needing the number 6, 7, 8, 9 and 2. And as you can see, all the pattern pieces has numbers on them. So it's very easy to know which pieces to use so number eight is the loop like you can see which i'll be using for i'll be using on the back and then number nine is the lacing which i'll be using to you know lace the loop i make and then the number two is the um piece for the armhole binding so yeah i already have all my pieces and in total i have five pieces for this top which is the variant b like i already said and for the fabric i'll be using this sage green crepe satin and you can also use chemise other crepe fabric and also lightweight fabric so i'm going to show you how i'm laying the pattern on the fabric like you can see the green line on the pattern it's uh, diagonal so instead of laying it uh, like usually how you lay the fabric on the straight grain this time i'm laying the fabric on the diagonal so you see that i'm laying it off the grain so this gives it the stretch that you need for this kind of top like a cow neck top how you'd cut a cow neck dress or top so this is exactly how you do that so i went ahead and cut out all my pattern pieces or the pieces that i'll be needing for this top so you can see that there is a line there which is the fold line and i went ahead to snip the edges so that i'll know exactly where to fold the front in 
So I went ahead and took all the pins out and what I'll do first is to hem the top part of the this top and also the hem line. I'll just fold it in two and then stitch it. So that's the V part and the top part of this pattern. So like you can see it looks really nice and neat. What I'll do now is to fold the top um at the top end <laughs> where the fold line was so you can see that i'm folding it where i snipped and then i'll pin it down i'll repeat it on the other side as well and what i'm going to do now is to use the armhole binding you can see that's number two and then that's what i'll be using to bind the armhole so I'd like to mention that every commercial pattern comes with instructions, but I am not following that because I find that a little bit sometimes confusing and all that. So I'm sewing it my own way and then in the end I get the same result. So if you think this is easier for you, then you can follow my tutorial to make the same top. But if you think... Uh, you don't want this tutorial but then you want to follow the instructions on the pattern that is also fine so what i'm doing now is binding the armhole like you can see i first stitched it and then after that i snipped the armhole to give it ease because it was a bit curved and now what i'm doing is to just fold the binding um twice and then pin it down so i'm going to pin it all the way to the upper part of this piece like you can see so to make it easier for me i also came to the top and then started pinning it down so once that was done after I folded it in half, I started to fold it in again. Just watch how I'm doing. I think the video is much explanatory. So I'm just going to leave you guys to watch the video until I finish pinning this part of the top. Then we'll move to the next procedure. So I'll repeat the same process on the other side, other armhole, and this is how it looks. I'll go to my sewing machine and then stitch very close to the edge. So this is how it turned out, and then I went ahead and gave it a nice press. So you can see that it looks um, flat and neat. Also, this is the wrong side of it and you can see that it also looks really neat so the next step is to move to the back pattern piece and you can see that on the pattern the loop marks has been indicated and the first thing i'm going to do is to make my loop and this is my loop i went ahead to make it off camera and then for each loop i'll be cutting two and a half inches and i need 10 of those two and a half inches so i will cut them all And these are my loops like i said i'll be needing 10 of them and what i'm going to do now is to transfer the loop marks onto the right side of two of the uh, back pattern pieces remember you have to cut four of the back pattern pieces and you only need two for the front that's where you'll be transferring the um loop marks onto so i'll separate the two aside which it which will serve as the lining and then now what i'm going to do with this two is to um, pin the loops onto the marks like you see so every um, mark has one loop so i'll go ahead and stitch it on the sewing machine and this is how it looks like so now what i'm going to do is to grab the front piece and then match the side seams together so on the back pattern piece you can see that there is a mark which indicates where the 
straps would be stitched on if you are doing the exact design that came with the pattern unfortunately i am not stitching it to the back because i want to tie it around my neck so if you want to do it like this that the, the style that came with the um, pattern which is the b pattern then you have to stitch this before stitching um, the sides together okay so what i'm doing now is to align the side seams together and like i said the back pieces was cut four times so one is serving as the main fabric and one is serving as the lining fabric so the front piece the side front piece is actually in between the two back pieces if you understand what i'm saying if you don't understand also just watch what i'm doing so there is one back pattern piece under then the back at uh, the front side seam and then another side um back so once i get that i'll just balance everything together and then stitch it and then repeat the same thing on the side and then at the top part of the back pieces i make sure that i move the front piece away so that i don't get a stitch in between so i'll go ahead and pin everything together and then once that is done i'll go ahead and stitch it so as you can see it's stitched and then i'm trimming down the corners so that once i flip it inside out the corners will be smooth and nice so i'll repeat the same thing on the other side and then flip it inside out once it's flipped inside out i'll go ahead and give it a nice press so that the seams will lay flat and this is how it looks after it has been ironed you can see that everything is coming together very neatly and beautiful and so what i'm going to do at the end of the loops is to just tuck it in and then stitch very close to the end So that is done and this is how it looks you're almost done with this top what i'm going to do next is to stitch the lacing for the loops so i'll go ahead and make my lacing and then once it's done i will come and then lace the back of this top So yeah this is the final look of this top and like i said i didn't um, stitch the the straps onto the back of the top i just left it like that because i just want to have control over how the straps fit around uh, me so i just want to tie it around my neck but if you didn't do it like that the back should be looking something like this like a crisscross at the back so yeah this top is done and I'll, I'll be putting it on for you to see how it looks like so this is how it looks like this is very cute and you compare this with your jeans trousers your palazzo pants i mean this top is just versatile you can wear it anyhow you want this is how the back side looks like and i really love the lacing effect because you can control how tight you want it to look i also paired it with my anna louisa jewelries and see how cute they all come together so if you're interested in any of their jewelry pieces, you can check them out with the link in the description box with my code STARDED20 and save 20% off your order. And they're also having a Memorial Day sale from 23rd May to 6th June. So make sure you don't miss this opportunity. And if you did like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye!